Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve. We're back in the spare bedroom where we're currently housing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles LE by Stern. And this is going to be part one of the restore. Now, restore on a brand new LE, come on. But for continuity for my videos, I always call it that when I'm adding or removing something from the game. Which brings us to the next point is a great segue. Uh, we're going to start part one easy. I found that when I'm doing restorations now or adding and removing, I end up doing well and less uh, stress, which then causes you know more uh, haste and then that causes more errors. So I'm going to keep it simple like I did before and do easy little tedious things. Let's start it off. So the speakers we're going to keep, though Eddie has new speaker kits, which are so much cooler, maybe. We're going to keep the speakers lit though, that's 100%. The side uh, hinges, which our buddy Ron made, they're beautiful for now, I'm keeping those. Uh, but what I did want to get rid of is a few things. So, Eddie and I did a Spike 2 edition of lighting uh, video where we added the buck converter and we had all these uh, LEDs. Now, I like some of them, uh, but a few of them during transport when I got the game. And again, that was an urgent matter. Uh, anyways, I had to get it quick. Um, it was in transit, some of them came loose folding the head, you know, so there should be a green LED strip here, which are very powerful, the Reddies. Um, there is the shooter one right here. There is the trough, and then on lighting, a strip, and then also under cab lighting, which you probably can't see. Well, the problem is the under cab lighting got snagged, and it's not meant for transport, so I'm going to remove that because I never want it on the game anyways, but... All of the extra lights I'm removing, I'm going to keep. And if I want to add them later when everything's kind of complete, I may revisit it, but I'll do it off camera anyways. So I'm going to remove the LED lights under here. I'm going to remove the strip here, which has uh, been uh, un, uh, unhooked. Uh, remove that and remove the trough because they're not on now because the circuit's been interrupted because something's been pulled or ripped. I don't know yet when I get under there. Uh, then when I get back... Uh, the lockdown bar I'll show you has rust on it. I'll explain how that's possible for a brand new game. Uh, or like around a year old game. Uh, remove the scorecards. I want the originals. These are supposed to be lit up too. Again, same circuit. Something got unplugged. But I didn't want these to begin with. But I'll maybe have them as a backup. And that's it for now for this part. Why don't I go ahead and take everything off. I'll show you closer what I've done. And uh, we'll go from there. So you can tell I've removed the uh, plastic around the uh, the housing here of the plunger. I know this looks weird. There's a reason. I'm just holding the glass for two seconds. And that's the first thing I found. So I removed the uh, apron cards and the score cards there. Um, I'm going to be putting... The uh, I'm going to be putting the original ones back. The only reason I haven't put them now is I want to get them laminated. And it's a reminder for me to to get it done. So that's why I'm not doing it there. There was a uh, there was a strip there. There was a strip there that I removed. Um, there was... The, so under under here, there was a green light. It wasn't plugged in. It was originally... Um, so I undid that, leaving on the uh, the hinge uh, LEDs. Now, I've unplugged deliberately the speaker uh, lights. I kind of like how Eddie has his new ones. They look really good. So I'm wondering if I should get be getting that. Later, I'm going to be lighting up the buttons. The that's, turtles are out again. That's why, the all right. that's why I left the, uh, I left some wiring underneath, uh, underneath the cabinet. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, under the cab, some storage and stuff I have there, and you should see what's in there. Uh, but anyways, I removed it from, I removed the under cab lighting as well. So I removed all that, that looks good. The last thing, or last part I'm going to do for tonight, because I'm going to be doing this in sections. And so if I look different, there's a reason. So the original owner had a unique situation with his, uh, his storage and his housing of his games, which is a great space, but sometimes the temperature, I assume, uh, fluctuates because I don't know if it has a furnace. I don't know the the reasoning, but a little rust has actually um, gathered here. It's not a big deal. I'm going to just take a little sandpaper right there. 
I know there's a way if you dip it in a solution. A buddy of ours, Robert, told me you should, but the timing-wise and uh, whatnot, I wasn't able to. So I'm going to just use some quick sandpaper and just brush it off and then put it back in the game. And uh, I'll be back and I'll show, you, I'll show you that. Okay, as you can see, the uh, angle's a bit off. Yeah, the uh, sandpaper worked really quick. It was small to begin with. Like that. So it looks great. All right, so easy peasy, that's done. If you guys want to see all the wiring that came out of uh, the game. And, uh, yeah, the apron. So uh, quite a lot of stuff. It's great, though. Uh, just right now, I want to ease back a little and see how the other mods look towards them. If I ever want to bring them back, I have them. So um, um, you'll see me. I'm going to cut away now, and it'll probably be a few days from now. And we'll move to the next uh, part of the video. I'm going to now use Goo Gone or alcohol, and there was a plastic film when the there's usually a blue plastic film on new games that are removed, and it's left some uh, residue from I guess the backing and the glue, which is a little bizarre. But either way, I'm going to uh, remove that in just a moment, and also remove it from uh, the uh, the power plug here, and uh, I'll be back with other updates. I want to show you, show you guys this really quick. Uh, it, so I've tried alcohol. Goo Gone works way better. Watch this. Watch this. So just put some Goo Gone on there. But I just want to show you how, how nice it comes off. Let's start here as an example. And it just comes right off. Look at that. Right off. Goo Gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Goo Gone really, really works. Now I'm going to make sure, again, I wipe any excess, 100%. But yeah, Goo Gone is definitely the go-to, and this took literally two seconds. Goo Gone all the way. I'll be back. Two. As you can see, it's beautiful and smooth. Uh, just used a little water, rinsed it off uh, to make sure there's no residue, and it looks really good. Um, I actually attached this that was uh, not done before. And what I've done is, remember in the uh, Part 2 video... If you saw it, there is a stern sticker that was in the coin box. And uh, I think it looks really cool um, compared to the uh, Made in the USA, you know, on the other side. So it looks kind of neat like that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so it's been a few days and we're going to proceed with the next part of uh, updating the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles LE. And the next is going to be the quiet fan for the stern uh, Spike 2. Now, I ordered a few things and mods. One of them was the plug-and-play quiet fan, as you can see, by Pinmonk. Uh, he's been wonderful. I have other mods just uh, on the left here. I'll show you a bit later on. And uh, it's beautifully done. Apparently, it's pretty easy. should only take around 20 minutes. And, uh, the, and the instructions are apparently really good. I mean, I think his name is Victor. Um, Pinmonk, he's wonderful. And then again, he just does every walk through right there you know what to do and then you know what to uninstall i'm going to take my time i have a few hours i won't take that long well, i hope but it has a few hours i'm going to walk through all of the um i'm going to walk through all the steps i'm not going to miss one and i'll show you so it shows that the first thing we have to do is um unplug the machine loosen the four nuts marked L which is yeah yeah so you pretty much open this I'll show you later on let me just get through it turn the machine off so I don't uh, do anything wrong to it and uh, we'll see how it works so just to give you an update what you're gonna do is you're gonna just unscrew these try to find a nut driver or anything that just loosens them you don't have to untake don't you don't have to undo them just unscrew them a little so this can shimmy up. You're going to take this screw off. And then there's a screw there beside the white Molex. You're going to nicely remove this. Okay. And put that aside. Now, though it look, may look daunting, that's really what... It's just a regular switch and power supply as far as I understand. So the instructions will then say... Uh, locate the distribution CN1... So one, so this is attached to this. Uh, let's unplug that. 
There we go. Fuck. It took forever. All right. So you <laughs> un uh, unplug that. Okay. What you're doing is you're going to try to, you're, you want this to be um, loose. Like you want it to be in habit, like uh, not connected. And so that's going to click from there. I'm going to click there. And you see this white Molex? Uh, seems we're going to unplug that one as well. Perfect. Okay. So now because we've loosened these and not removed them, let me make sure. Gently slide the un untethered, that's the better, yeah, other untethered power supply and lift it because you removed it and remove it from the back box as so. See that? There it is. So it lifts just like that. All right, let me, uh, let me now come to the part when we're working on it on, quote, the bench. Okay, so next step is you're going to remove the uh, screws that are holding in the fan. And they're going to be replaced with these longer threaded ones that the pin monk gives you. So these will just be removed as such. Okay. So that finishes. So there's the instructions that finishes the front side. So we've just finished step three, remove two screws. Uh, yada, yada. These will be replaced. Okay. Now. Lay the power supply on a flat surface. Yes, using a nudge reveal, can remove the number six small screws from the numbered location. So this is the back side, is it not? No, how is that possible? What do you mean? Oh, these. These. I see. Yeah, there's one, two, three. Where are you here? One, two, three. And then on this side is uh, uh, one and two. may take a significant pressure because it's on, so it might strip it. Okay, so let me remove these and I'll be back. Yep. All right, so I just got finishing opening it. Now keep in mind, read the sticker. It does say warranty will be void if you remove it. And Steve Stern's not, Stern's not dumb when it comes to saving their ass. They actually, the sticker covers the six screw. So it's right there. But I uh, get it. Totally get it. Okay. So we're putting that aside. Now, here's where it looks a little daunting. Uh, let me show you closer. Okay. So that's the inside of a power supply. So ideally, what we're going to do is this is already unscrewed. We're going to just follow the line and unplug it. Am I nuts? That's it, right? I don't know, something about a glob. Was it something in here? So, yeah, we just follow that and unplug it, right? Yada, yada, yada. Okay, locate the white silicone blob next to the coil the wires from the stock fans run through. Well, mine doesn't do that. There's no glob. There's a glob here, and then there's a coil thing there, but mine doesn't do that. Did they maybe change it? I don't know. Locate the white silicone glob that are in the fan. Yeah, because in the description, it shows that the fan is covered with the glob, which I guess so there's no play, but mine does not have that, which is sweet. Even better. And then it would say, yeah. Carefully remove the glob one at a time, and yeah, so not to screw with it. Caution is a uh, avoid the disturbance ones one and two. Okay, unplug stock fan from board one, which is there, so we can follow that. We can go one handed. There's the fan. So if you open yours and you have this silicone glob like right there, just slowly remove it and don't like rip it. I guess I don't know. And then, so let's remove that. 
Okay, so yeah, it was stupid me. It just two, two, took two seconds. So the next day is you're going to take the fan, the new one. Okay, I'll show you just like this. And you're going to be pointing the label outward. And it's actually in the, in the um, instructions. Use the new threading screws. Attach the new fan and the label pointing outwards to the power supply. So I'm copying this. This is the old one. It was out. And then this goes out. So you can't see it. So you can't see it, okay? And then it just sits in there. And then your wire is going to be to the top right. You're going to loop it under this gimmick. Easy. Okay. And then up and over and you plug it in. And you can hear a little probably click when it does so. There it is. Make sure it's nice and in. Okay. So, I mean, that's it. I mean, what else can you do? And then you're going to just put it back, right? Oh, the screws. Shitty. Okay, so here's the ones it came with. And then you're going to just screw them where the other two were, which were right there and there. Well, shit. Right there and there. Okay, so I'll be back, and that's it. And then, so that's pretty. It is actually easy. I mean, it looks daunting when you look at all the all the capacitors. <laughs> Feed it down. Connect the circuit boards. Retest the power supply. Tear off a rectangular paper tower and lay it on the top of the power supply. Ah, and it and it should blow the paper towel off. So then we'll do this in a second. It's saying the last step is put everything back. You're gonna, we're gonna put this paper towel on there, and if it blows it off, it did it right because it means that it's pulling, it's pushing the air out in that uh, position, and then we'll leave it on and we'll see if it uh, quieted the fan. I'll be back. All right, so I put the fan back, and I have not tightened these yet, just in case something screws up. So I'm gonna connect the Molex again. There's only one way you can put it in. Good, right here, one way. Good. All right, that's snug. Good. That's snug. Now, I'm not going to put the cage on in case something screws up. And uh, I think we're pretty much good. Let's plug the power in. I'm going to use the paper towel method that the Pin Monk recommends. All right. He recommends that, I think. There we go. So it should blow. Shit, you can't even see that, can you? Uh, it can. It, so I just put a um, just a like a Kleenex or a paper towel right there. Lift that. Okay. So that plugged in power. Plugged it in. Um, let's do it. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow, wait. 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 That's my speaker shit. In, 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 and three. This is live, huh? I'm not editing shit. Three, two. Wait a minute. Tear off a rectangle paper and lay it on top. So we have to wait until the fan comes on, depending on ambient temperature in the room, how hard the work the machine will work. This might take a quite a while. Do not skip this test. If the fan blows the paper towel off, congratulations, your work is done. If the fan does not blow the paper off, uh, after an hour of play, check your work. Something is wrong. You might have put the fin in backwards. So remember, we did the, the sticker was on the outside. So interesting. The good news is the 
Yeah, the good news is it's working. So we did a good, something worked. <laughs> uh, now we have to wait for it to come on. Now it is hot in this apartment, in this room, but I doubt it's gonna come on that quickly. Fans on. Yeah, it's quiet, look. Whoop, goes flying. So it's success, look. Yeah, it was flying. Yeah, way more quiet. Listen, and this is with it open. Now, there's a slight buzzing because of the, the light uh, hinges. We're going to talk about that another time. But it is working. It works great. And it blew it off every time. Let's check our work. Just like that. Yep. So the next mod we're going to do is Pin Monk's insert brackets, which changes the colors of the standard white RGB that uh, Stern has for these portions. It's cool. It's kind of matched up, like uh, slash will be red and whatnot. Uh, there's two parts. This is by itself doing all these ones in the middle of the play field. And this one here changes from the white to green. So there's no screws needed. You use the existing ones. It even says this side down. So they're going to be just like this, and then the lights that shine past it will then reflect and show here. One. So, I'll so as you can see, all of the uh, inserts or lights now uh, are lit. Boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It would look definitely better in the dark. It's literally the worst time to be filming where the uh, when the sun's now going down to the apartment. But anyways, yeah. So that worked great. And lastly. Lastly, uh, we're going to be adding, this is from Mesel Mods. So Mesel Mods has a anti um, airball plastic. So it's literally, you just take off those screws. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Take off the plastic film, which is right there. It should not be blue. And I'm going to put that and then uh, we'll be done for the video. So we'll be back. All right, so I've just started a new game really quick here, just to show you. That is the installation of the um, air ball. And again, I made sure that I left on the original plastic because it actually fits better with the screws. But this was a bit tedious, I have to admit. It came off the uh, the RAM from wire form here, and it was a bit annoying. But anyways, uh, 25 minutes, it should have been five. But either way, it works great. And uh, yeah, so just lining up the screws with the opto there was a bit annoying. So what it's meant to do, I'm gonna try to get in one shot, is make a smooth, shit, of course not. So what it does is it makes a smooth transition. Normally without it, this ball would rattle, so it'd be like did you do, and then come down. Well, the great thing about it not doing it now is it adds to the flow, a uh, really nice flow. So that is the air ball installed and the last mod for this part of the video let me set you up and say my goodbyes well there i have it that was part one of the restore series on the teenage mutant ninja turtles le by stern uh, a bit tedious i'll be honest but uh, very effective uh quiet fan from pin monk the uh ins the gels that look beautiful a little tedious because i always hate taking apart boards if you have to but it's not bad there's no extra wires or screws uh, which is always nice. Um, the Mesel Mods with the anti uh, air ball plastic took off a little LEDs. I'm tidying things up and then I can maybe put them back later. So, yeah, that's off the list. And yeah, what do you guys think? Um, it's coming together. Take your time. If you're ever doing it, honestly, there's no pride in it. You know, I've learned, I'm starting to take my time, come back to it. Like I said, different days instead of trying to rush everything during a day. It's working out great. But here's where I get, oh, and all the stuff that I've installed in the description below, it's there. If you want to support them, I have no affiliation at the moment. It's just great product. And support pinning, uh, pinball. Here's where it gets cool. So part two, subscribe, like, do all that stuff and share. Because here's where it gets sick. Part two gets fun. Pin monk, boom, another mod. It's the select a turtle, like instead of there, beautifully hand done. Or like, like the way that it's done, I should say. Hand done is going to be the pipe mod where Pin Cider uh, hand painted and sculpted it and it goes over the wire form. I'll get that next video. And then also from Mesel Mods, I got the canister that lights up on the flasher. And the sick part is the damn Technodrome. Yeah. 
So do you see this part right here? It's actually a molded plastic and sculpt that looks really cool. So that's going to be coming part two. And I got more stuff coming. I'll explain um, next video. So let me know if you ever need help from me. I'll try my best to. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe learned something. And it's been a pleasure. All the best that I do. Thank you for checking out Top Tier. Peace. Thank you.